Maybe not. Yeah, I'll just pick it up. Um, I don't want to bore you by saying the same stuff I said last night, so I got something slightly new for you. The Congressional Research Service commissioned a report called Keeping America's Pipelines Safe and Secure Key Issues for Congress. And in this report, it says, in February 2003, FERC promulgated a new rule, RM02-4-000. Y'all bored yet? Wait till we hear what it is. To protect critical energy infrastructure information, CEII. Now, FERC knows what I'm talking about. All those, FERC, all those filings you see Sable Trail make on the FERC website that are marked CEII. That's what that's about. Okay, why, why did they promulgate this rule about critical energy infrastructure, in, infrastructure information? The rule defines CEII as information that, quote, must relate to critical infrastructure, be potentially useful to terrorists, and be exempt from disclosure under the Freedom of Information Act, unquote. That's right, you cannot even get this information with FOIA, which, by the way, we know by actually trying it, because someone in Spectre Busters tried getting the landowner list through a Freedom of Information Act and was told, nope. So, well, that's quite interesting, also from another point of view, because in Florida, as they know, but some of you may not, Walls Watershed Coalition, of which I am president, is currently contesting a rule that the Florida Department of Environmental Protection has, uh, not a rule, a permit, that the Florida DEP has said it wants to issue to let Sable Trail drill under the Solani River. Now that's in Walls territory, we in incorporate the upper Solani River. But we think it's a really bad idea for many of the same reasons that you've heard mentioned before, having to do with fragile karst limestone. And I'm sure everyone around here has heard about the Shiloh Road sinkhole and the Snake Nation Road sinkhole before that, that the county ended up spending, I think, about half a million dollars to fix. And the Shadrick sinks near both Coochie River that caused Valdosta to sink its water wells twice as deep. And those water wells are not right next to Shadrick sink. They're miles away which kind of makes the point that if the pipeline drilling under the Suwannee River or the Withacoochee River were to cause a sinkhole, it could have effects on, we don't really know whose wells or where else. So in this um, case that we're contesting, Wells is contesting in Florida, I promise to finish shortly, um, Sable Trail is saying in legal filings, it's all online, it's all public record, you can see it, that any mention of terrorism, I mean, you know, terrorism against pipeline, that's merely speculative. Well, really? So why did FERC promulgate this rule? Why does this same document, which I found this, say that FBI, Homeland Security, and you know, basically an alphabet that soup of three-letter agencies is very concerned about this? And even more to the point, why is Sable Trail hiding information behind a rule expressly designed, uh, remember that, be potentially useful to terrorists, that was in an and sentence. It doesn't mean it's one option. It means it has to be potentially useful for terrorists, to terrorists, to be using CEII to, CEII to protect it. So which is it, Sable Trail? Are terrorists actually a risk or are they not? Should we believe what they file with FERC, or should we believe what they're saying to the court in Florida? And, more basically, if this pipeline is such a good thing, why are they hiding so much information? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Quarterman. Mr. Chris Marable.